Hey everybody, how's it going? Daryl here. I've been fortunate enough to review a bunch of different moving headlights on this channel from Chauvet, from Sheds, from both Lighting, from B Topper, from OPPSK, and Jamez. And many of you asked me which are my favorite movers. So I just thought it's spring cleaning and I need to make some more room. So I thought I'd just do this quick shootout video before some of these movers find new homes. And man, this is kind of overwhelming looking at all these movers. And some of the movers I've reviewed on this channel already have found new homes. So I'm going to give a brief overview of all these movers that I've reviewed and I'm going to tell you which ones are my favorites. Notice plural because different movers I like for different reasons. It's hard to just pick one. So probably the biggest of this lot and probably the brightest of all the movers I've reviewed is the Shed's 275 watt 10 R beam. It's the brightest of the bunch, it's really affordable, and it's a solid beam. It has a frost filter and a rainbow filter. It's made of plastic, so it's pretty lightweight for how big it is, and it's too bright for most situations for me. Next, we have the Chauvet Hybrid 140 SR. It's the most expensive on the list by far, but it has a really high build quality, and it has really cool functionality because it can be a beam, a wash, and a spot with a motorized zoom. It has two prisms and this thing is really fun to work with. Everything about this light feels polished and well thought out, but it's also the heaviest and the biggest on the list. And it has a real bulb, so it really can't dim. Next, we have this LED spot from Sheds. That's 160 watts and it's a three in one. So it's extremely affordable, it's really bright, and it almost has the same functionality as the hybrid. So while it does have a motorized zoom, the narrowest beam isn't quite into beam territory being 10 degrees. It has a frost filter making this thing a wash, which is nice. The tilt angle is kind of limited for putting this on top of a totem. Next, we have the Both Lighting MH150. Overall, it's a solid moving head spot from a solid supplier, Both Lighting. It's bright, not too heavy, and probably has the best build quality of any non-name brand mover. Next, we have the JMS AeroSpot 60. It has built-in wireless DMX, it's battery operated, and it's definitely the most convenient for deploying it. And while it has a pretty compact size, it's kind of heavy at 30 pounds, and it's pretty pricey for only having a 60 watt bulb. But I personally find that 60 watts is great for many types of events. Next, we have this both lighting Macara 19 by 15 moving head wash. It has a really wide beam angle, it serves as a really high functioning wash. The Mac Aura Glow isn't that useful to me. These things are extremely common. They're very affordable and it's a nice effect. And personally, I feel like that if you can hang this up high, especially if you're directly over the dance floor, this is a way better value than just a normal wash. And so while I think that this light is a great value, moving head washes score a little bit lower in my book than spots because I really like the look of gobos. But you have this nice smooth color mixing, which is a huge plus. You don't have the jarring movement of the color wheel to get to the next color. Next, we have this moving head wash from B Topper, the LM108. It's a basic no frills wash, single fixed beam angle, it's affordable, it's compact, and it can do some nice color fades. It's probably the most compact on this list. Next, we have this BI mover from B Topper, a 7x40. It's pretty bright, nice adjustable beam angle that's versatile, and it has the BI movement effect where it rotates, it kind of looks like a moonflower slash derby. And so if you're into that effect, this one does a pretty good job at it. It's extremely affordable. Next is a 7x20 BI mover from Sheds. And Sheds does have a 7x40 version, but I only have the 7x20 version, and this one is pretty compact and lightweight, although bigger than the B-Topper one. And this one can do pixel mapping, so you can control the intensity and the color of each of the seven diodes, which I think is pretty cool. And I really enjoy working with this mover. This one is a lot of fun, even though I'm not the biggest fan of that Derby Moonflower effect. And I've reviewed a couple of OPPSK movers, one that was pretty small and one that was bigger. And I'll just flat out say that they win the points for being the most unique. But for me and my purposes, they didn't seem very practical or very elegant. But I've heard people say that they like them and they like them for like more informal events like parties and school dances. So my taste may be different than yours and that is okay. So the Chauvet Intimidator Spot 255, I didn't make a formal gear review for, but I've featured these many times on my gig logs. So I figured I would throw this in here as well. 
All right, so many movers. Time to dish out some awards. It's hard to pick like which one I think is the best value, like the best bang for your buck, because I think they're all solid entries. The Shobe Intimidator Hybrid 140SR, unfortunately it's not with us here today, was by far my favorite to design a light show for. With its two prisms, the beam, spot, and wash functionality, it made it a lot of fun to use. Because of its large size and heavy weight, it did not become my go-to mover. And it's also the most expensive mover on this list. And the hybrid 140SR is part of like the Chauvet DJ line, but its price is bordering on like the Chauvet Professional line. So another award goes to like the Chauvet Intimidator Spot 255. I really like this mover. This has been my go-to for like pretty much my entire DJ career. It just works really well. It's designed really well. The build quality is really nice. And like I said earlier, I think that 60 watts is perfect for most weddings. And even for like bigger events, it still can pack a punch. And so I just really like this mover. I think it has really nice gobos. It works really well. It's really well thought out and it's like really compact and easy to use. So I really liked these movers. And if you learn anything from this channel, you'll learn that I like compactness and things that are easy to use for a mobile DJ. Unfortunately, this model has been discontinued, but has been replaced with the Chauvet Intimidator Spot 260X, I think. X or no X, I don't know. And so the JMAZ Aero wins points for being like the most convenient. Pretty much my entire rig has built-in wireless DMX and is battery operated. So having a mover that kind of has that functionality in there is just gonna be really nice. So I'm gonna be using this mover from now on. So this is probably the most convenient mover. So I really like both lighting. So I do like their movers. I feel like that they're built really well. And I feel like that both lighting is a good company to work with, really reliable. And so I'm definitely going to be keeping these ones for like larger events. But yeah, my go-to is going to be like this JMAZ one. Well, that's basically the video. But what are your thoughts? Have you tried any of these movers? Which one is your favorite one? Do you have any questions about any of these movers? Let me know down in the comments below and please smash like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.